Steven from Comcast Sportsnet. So Steve, can you talk a little bit about your responsibilities now at Comcast Sportsnet? I am the general sales manager at the uh, regional sports network. Um, my responsibility is to manage the local sales team to generate revenue for whatever we produce on our air um, or carry as a television show on our air. And it can vary from a Washington Wizards or Capitals game to a Redskins pre or post game show to uh, Fox programming that we uh, have a contract with, whether it was through ACC Basketball or some of the other shows that they have on our air. So we're responsible for selling the commercials as well as the sponsorships for uh, events that we produce. And then uh, starting last year, um, really putting an emphasis on our digital platform with our websites, csnwashington.com, csnbaltimore.com. Okay, very nice. And how did you get started in your career in the sports industry? <laughs> I knew at a very early age that I wanted to work in sports. My father was a high school coach, athletic director, so I knew I wanted to be in sports. To what capacity? I had no idea. Um, I did not enter uh, the University of South Carolina Sports Administration uh, program thinking I wanted to get into sales. I didn't know what sales was. I knew it was something out there. Everyone, you know, you hear sales, you buy stuff all the time. Um, but as my four years progressed, it, I evolved into having that kind of uh, opportunity. Um, when I was with the Wizards in my first internship, it was actually Washington Bullets. I worked under the ticket sales department in customer relations. Um, when I interned the following summer with Reebok, it was in direct marketing. Um, and then the following summer, it was with the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim as they were entering into their inaugural season. And when I was doing that internship, I learned a lot about it. was in the sales and marketing department. Uh, my first job was in community relations because that's the job they offered me. Um, but I always had the sales and marketing umbrella. I was under it um, working. And um, right before I got laid off, they let me sell some program advertising. And that's when I really learned how to sell or got my foot in to the selling part of it. And uh, it evolved from there. I ended up getting laid off from the Mighty Ducks and coming back home humbled. and. Baseball was on strike at the same time as hockey, and all the jobs that supported those two leagues, no one was hiring. And I'm a 22, 23-year-old uh, with little experience, a lot of internships, and like, what do I do? So I just started sending my resume out all over again, and I ended up getting a job out of sports. And because of my internships, the sports radio station in town saw my resume and they gave me the opportunity and that's how I got into really hardcore sales. I started out in sports radio. And what advice do you have for kids currently now trying to break into sports with some similar um, you know, lack of job situation going on? I think that uh, you really have to, um, to focus on and, and, and have a passion and know what your passion's for and go after it. Upstairs um, during the lunch breakout, um, kids were asking, you know, how did you do it? Well, on a personal level, I, I didn't take school as the joke part of my life, but the social part of my life, that's what it was to me. The summers were really, where do I want to be? And I went after crazy internships, internships that I didn't think I ever had a chance to get into, but that's when you have that opportunity. Um, organizations, yes, yeah, sometimes they take so-and-so's kid, but in most cases, it's it's very hardworking Young students are, 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 are young, um, aspiring uh, people that, that just get their resume out, follow up, have a track record to show that this is what they want to really do. And you give that person the opportunity because they, they took that chance and, and go wherever the opportunity is. If there's an opportunity in Anchorage, Alaska to work for their hockey program and that's what you want to do in hockey, college athletics, go because you're never gonna get that opportunity again and you figure out how to go do it and get that experience and don't worry about how much money you're gonna make until you have five or six years of experience because I took my jobs as my learning. As long as I kept learning, I was okay not making the kind of money I eventually wanted to make. But because I have all this experience now, I can go in the direction that I feel is appropriate for me and, 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 and I'm comfortable with it but I needed that experience to do that. 
Yeah, well, that's great advice. And um, you said you just came from the lunch breakout session where um, you were seated at a table with um, other students that here that are attending the conference. Do you have some do's and don'ts about trying to quickly quickly network with someone in kind of a that sort of situation? Yeah, I told the group, um, have really good questions ready. I, I think that all the CME information that was coming, especially to the students, they knew who was going to be, who they were going to have the opportunity to speak with. And if you really wanted to come speak to me, you should have very pointed questions that you really can get something out of it. I think what happens sometimes are kids just want jobs, and that's not what, listen, everyone wants jobs. Um, but if you can learn and you can figure out a little bit more and get that from this conference, I mean, there's going to be so many great speakers that you can learn general information from. But if you're actually in front of an executive that has the power to hire, you need to know what turns that person on to hire people. And you need to have really good questions to differentiate yourself. You have to look professional. Uh, wear that, that one great suit that you own because this is the one time you're going to make an impression on somebody. Um, and, and it's not just about a card grab. Like, can I have your card? Can I have your card? That's not what it's about. Have really good questions to ask and to know what you really want to do. And if you don't know what you want to do, if you know you're going to be in front of a sales manager, Find out what questions you should be asking that kind of individual. And then if you're going to somebody else that is in a completely different industry, doing completely different um, things, have very targeted questions for them. And then you'll start figuring out where you want to be and where you want to go. Okay, again, great advice. So thank you for taking the time to talk with us. Thank you.